Hi, welcome to the next section of the course, Basics of RxJava. In this section, we'll start by learning about observables, disposables, schedulers. Then we'll investigate the flow of an observable. Moving further, we'll learn about flowable. After that, we'll learn about completable, single, and maybe types. Now we move on to the first video of this section, observable, disposable, and schedulers. In this video, we're going to take a look at observables and explore how they're related to disposables. Moving on, we'll learn about schedulers. Everything starts with an observable. It's a sort of data that you can observe for emitted data. In almost all cases, you'll be working with the observable class. Basically, it's a universal interface to tap into data streams in a reactive way. There are lots of different ways of how one can create observables. The simplest way is to use the dot just method, like we did before. This is the simplest way to create observables. It's usually a perfect way to glue non-RX-like parts of the code to RX-compatible flow. When an observable is created, it's not usually defined when it will start emitting data. If it was created using simple tools such as .just, it won't start emitting data until there is a subscription to the observable. Then how do we create a subscription? It's done by calling .subscribe. Usually, the observable gets activated the moment somebody subscribes to it. So, if a new observable was just created, it won't magically start sending data somewhere. So here in our code file, this is the code to create the observable, and this is the subscribe function. We'll now learn about hot and cold observables. Cold observables are the most common observable type. For example, one can be created with this code. Cold observable means that the items won't be emitted by the observable until there's a subscriber. This means that before the dot subscribe element is called, no items will be produced, and thus none of the items that are intended to be emitted will be missed. Everything will be processed. A hot observable is an observable that will begin producing items internally as soon as it's created. For example, in the later section, we'll see that Twitter can be a hot observable. The status updates that are produced constantly and it doesn't matter if there is something that is ready to receive them, such as subscription. If there were no subscriptions to the observable, it means that the updates will be lost. Now we'll learn about disposable. A disposable was previously called as subscription in RxJava 1.0. It's a tool that can be used to control the life cycle of an observable. If the stream of data that the observable is producing is boundless, it means that it will stay active forever. It might not be a problem for a server-side application, but it can cause some serious trouble on Android. Usually, this is the common source of memory leaks. Obtaining a reference to a disposable is pretty simple. This is the code to do it. A disposable is a very simple interface. It has only two methods, dispose and is disposed. The dispose element can be used to cancel the existing disposable, previously called a subscription. This will stop the call of .subscribe to receive any further items from observable, and the observable itself will be cleaned up. The isDisposed method has a pretty straightforward function. It checks whether the subscription is still active. However, it's not used very often in regular code, as the subscriptions are usually unsubscribed and forgotten. The disposed subscriptions, disposables, cannot be re-enabled. They can only be created anew. Finally, Disposables can be grouped using composite disposable like this. This is the syntax to do it. It's useful in the cases where there are many observables that should be cancelled at the same time. Next, we'll learn about schedulers. Scheduler is something that can schedule a unit of work to be executed now or later. In practice, it means that schedulers control where the code will actually be executed. And usually that means selecting some kind of specific thread. Most often, Subscribers are used to executing long-running tasks on some background thread so that it wouldn't block the main computation or UI thread. This is especially relevant on Android when all long-running tasks must not be executed on main thread. Schedulers can be set with a simple dot subscribe on call. This is the code to set the simple schedulers. There are only a few main schedulers that are commonly used. Schedulers.io schedulers.computation, schedulers.newthread, and android-schedulers.mainthread. The android-schedulers.mainthread is only used on Android systems. Let's explore how schedulers work by checking out a few examples. 
In our main activity file, we'll add this code. And when we click on Run, we'll get this output on the console. Now let's try to modify the code. The code is shown here. And again, run it. And when the code gets executed, we get this output on our console. We can see how the code was executed on the main thread in the first case, and on a new thread in the next. Android requires that all UI modifications should be done on the main thread. So, how can we execute a long-running process in the background but process the result on the main thread? This can be done with the .observeOn method. So we add this line of code here. We've named it as Demo1. When we run this code, we get this output in our console. Here, the items in the DoOnNext block were executed on the Rx thread, and the Subscribe block items were executed on the main thread. So here we learned about observables, disposables, and schedulers.